good morning ladies and gentlemen my name is malika mridul and i will be the host of today's webinar on behalf of tnv academy for this webinar we are glad to have mr ratan kumar rajmani as the guest speaker the topic with which he is here today is road safety at a glance our distinguished speaker mr ratan kumar rajmani has done his bachelor's in engineering in mechanical and he has an industrial experience of over 35 plus years he has worked as senior operations coordinator in various disciplines and in industries such as refineries oil and gas processing plants chemical storage and handling industries he has worked abroad also where he has gained a very good experience and good appreciation as well that's enough from my side so ladies and gentlemen i may request mr ratan kumar rajmani now to please take over and start the webinar Thank you, Malika Madam. Good afternoon, friends, respectful and honourable citizens. Uh, the introduction is already told. I will skip that. Today, I am going to present a topic on road safety at a glance. Before going that, I would like to tell some few words. Human life is as precious as gold and silver, and as such, our social commitments and family commitments are. and should be our prime and foremost concern let us all realize our responsibilities and also keep in mind that one family that is our family is waiting for our safe return from work of course with normal expectations before going further for the presentation i would like to divide the subject of road safety into parts on and off the roads on the road means tar roads off the road means deserts and terrains and start my day now if you see this safety on the roads first first and foremost is for pedestrian safety and in this there is a first uh, bulletin you use sidewalks sidewalks if you say see this is the pedestrian crossing if you see he is crossing with his mobile phone looking is that good that is not good mobile phone is not the prime importance road crossing is the prime importance actually the signals meant in the roads are not for pedestrians but even for drivers pamphlets regarding driving rules for two wheelers and four wheelers can be circulated among the public at large by this what i mean is it will be given in the driving school it can be circulated in the traffic stations or traffic spots or traffic signals in that way we can educate the public and as a pedestrian you should be visible wearing the light colored clothes so that nobody will come and hit you mainly you have to avoid alcohol and drugs for the children school going children it is of course nowadays if you see it is very difficult to cross the roads for all so it is very important to stress that point and the other one is we have to look both the ways be careful especially at intersections and i would like to say that you have to always avoid avoid means completely not at all use the cell phone while walking and you have to especially see for the parked vehicles you may go and hit that should not be the case i would give here one point every year approximately 1.5 lakh people die on indian road accidents which translate on an average into 1130 accidents and 422 deaths every day or 47 accidents and 18 deaths every hour my dear gentlemen this is very alarming correct this should not be the case everybody should be safe and everybody's life is in everybody's hand if you are driving the pedestrian's life is in your hand and if you are a pedestrian if you are, your life is in the driver's hand it is interchangeable mainly i would like to touch some factors regarding the driving patterns followed here i would say some drivers especially two wheelers try to reach their destinations by using shortcuts which is not at all safe 
that means they are choosing the wrong direction of driving especially creating fear among pedestrians my dear gentlemen those who are driving one day will be pedestrians and those who are pedestrians one day will be driving again interchangeable they will create fear among pedestrians at large especially the senior citizens of course road safety is the prime concern for everyone among the pedestrians in the scenario of public today i have witnessed personally so many times or you would have also witnessed there the main persons that is the traffic cops obviously they will stand simply stand there or act as if they have not seen anything this behavioral attitude of the traffic police can be slowly changed by enforcing the rules whenever he sees or come across such types at this juncture see i i will go to the previous slide somebody is crossing other than india in every countries if the pedestrians cross priority is given for pedestrians not for the drivers two wheelers or four wheelers they will stop in the middle east and all i have seen and most of the people would have been working or gone to the middle east for vacation or due to various reasons or business trips they will stop when pedestrians cross this is again enforcement of rules or penalties while crossing the signal or zebra crossing points by intuition intuition it would automatically come to our mind for this i would like to suggest some important points when designing the vehicles generally for reversing we keep some beep sound or some alarm to caution the public that your vehicle is reversing back or whatever it is or for big vehicles like trucks and buses someone will guide the vehicle for reversing likewise we can think of creating some devices my dear gentlemen we can think of creating some devices and it has been done in some countries in the front portion of the vehicle to sense the obstructions while driving to stop or reduce the speed of the vehicle we have speed breakers of course and bumps speed monitoring system is a must and regarding this i will go to one slide and i will show you how what they have done if i i will give you the link now iop i think you get this iop signs dot iop dot org iop dot org if you go to that link there they have, there is a pdf format you can find out from that pdf what they have designed and what features they have done to reduce the speed actually that is a good thing i would want to say and regarding the pedestrians i would like to say some more points to my mind ah uh, there is one smarts what do you mean by smarts support making all road travel safe that means in the canada they have start in canada they have started one organization like this and every citizen they are joining and they are getting a badge and they are giving suggestions and they are getting suggestions and traffic is very smooth and pedestrians of course pedestrians if you see some years back they will walk on the roads now there is no pedestrian way to walk because two wheelers are coming on the pedestrian path itself as i say they are creating fear that should not be the case at any cost whatever be the urgency whatever be the urge whatever be the emergency please my friends don't use cell phone while driving that is what everybody is insisting and that is very serious issue and for you you may, they may say some sometimes they will cross the red signal you would have seen so many people what is the need what is the urgency my dear gentlemen they may say that vehicle is under my control i can take care of the pedestrians everything on the road by seeing here there but everybody's life is at risk suppose it is the other way round if the brake fails then it is a disastrous and 
it will create damage to both both the pedestrian and yourself my dear gentlemen please please try to avoid red line crossing and regarding the road improvements naturally the roads has to be improved so here again if i come to the pedestrian be visible means the road should be very clear then only pedestrian will walk and the motorist or two wheelers or buses they will have the clear idea who is walking on the road my dear gentlemen roads improvements to be done at topmost priority by this what i mean there is no designated area for safe walking areas in most of the cities the potholes and irregular thawing procedures can be taken as a topmost priority for discussions with the local ward councillors and in that way we can expect a safe and clean thawed roads the local bodies can take up the matter with higher officials and arrive at a solution conducive and feasible for both the pedestrians and motorists in general and i will before i proceed to the next slide motorist is very important while you drive these are the bullet points i would like to share you should be aware of the children not only children all the public when you drive and you have to give way to the public first public first is your priority and topmost priority and we have seen in newspapers and all and uh, statistical data and all <coughs> you are getting more news about accidents and road collision uh, vehicle collisions in the road etc etc normally you have distractions while talking on the phone that should be kindly avoided my dear gentlemen and when the fourth junction is there you have to approach the crossways carefully most important you have to follow the speed limits secondly you should never drink and drive that is very very that is not at all safe you should never drink and drive and first and foremost thing is your you should look both ways this is for drivers also always avoid using phone while walking like that always avoid using phone while driving because your concentration may be on your talks not on the driving you may miss and it is a not miss you may have a chance to miss who is coming in front of you or who is coming in the sideways so road safety as a whole i will give the important uh, links if you want i will suggest some links later on if you give your mail id i will give the links right now i have stated the links in this slide uh, somehow i don't get right now so this is about the road safety on the roads any doubts gentlemen please raise your hands i will stop with this and then we'll go to the next question so as i say there is one saying safety charity begins at home like that safety also begins at home not only at home it ends at home so be safe travel safely and don't create panic to yourself and to others now we will go to the second portion of the topic off the roads off the roads means normally deserts and terrains with this i want to stress some points you have to use the right off road tires check the tires before you start the journey normally we will reduce the air pressure so that desert driving the mud driving it will be useful and afterwards you have to fill when you come into the thaw road that's what i mean right use the right off road tires is that is what the next one is check your car before you go that means your coolant is there your wiper is there because if the dust and all if, if it comes in front of your mirror you, you may not have the proper vision or visibility especially during the fog driving 
personally i have driven in fog also when i am when i am working in the middle east <clears throat> i have driven in the fog fog driving is very very carefully you have to drive in fog especially and you have to put the hazard lights and the hazard lights is meant for the back drivers to take care and they should keep a distance always and more important thing is drive with a buddy with this i would like to tell one example of course i would like to tell one example personally when i was working apart the other units they are going to the well site in the night time checking the wells oil wells i mean in that there were three people three people were driving in a pickup truck and when they passed the desert road to check the oil leak from which well it is coming before they reach the spot oil is flowing from the well side and it is coming to the sand track the tragic tragedy thing is these people got stuck in the oil pool which is very very dangerous and in, during the night time normally night time driving is avoided and it is prohibited even if you want to drive you should get the special permission from the duty manager or the concerned authority to take care and they have to give clear instructions to you and they will they will take the responsibility unfortunately this is a contractor vehicle of course your contractor documentation also covered in that insurance are all covered in that what happened is they should not have stopped the engine when they got the vehicle stuck the biggest mistake is they stopped the vehicle and they again tried to restart and as we know ignition is one of the major source for the fire once they started the car is blown off the truck is blown off and all the three died immediately on the spot my dear gentlemen especially daytime at least you will get the visibility if you overturn or if your vehicle overturns you will have the clear visibility night time that is why they are telling drive with a buddy and you have to drive at a safe speed safe speed is you should not drive more than 40 or 50 in the clear sand track road or 20 in the wavering sand track road and the next thing is pack emergency supplies like your in case if you got injury first aid box should be there and medicinal supplies should be there if you hurt get hurt and the first and foremost thing whether you are on the road or off the road you should always wear a seat belt seat belt is a must which will prevent you from hazardous situations the next point is you have to stay on the designated trails what do you mean by designated trails 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 means path normally some vehicles would have crossed before you and you have to follow their tire path if you follow the other tire path you will be stuck in the mud again you have to call the spare vehicle or spare person to help you out always stay on designated trails check everything do your work come safely be safe and you have to respect other drivers especially wildlife wildlife is normally in the forest areas if you go move through the forest areas all of a sudden it will come you have to anticipate that and you have to drive these are all of course you people know that to my point of view i have told another incident i would like to tell is regarding the driving only one blind road is there in the middle east two vehicles one vehicle was going on the opposite direction this vehicle taking a turn in the left both had a direct collision which created problem for both they are giving clear indication stop and go stop and proceed that they are not at all checking even in middle east also 
as I have seen so many cases. My dear gentlemen, safe driving on the road and off the road is a must. You have to respect other drivers and wildlife. And the other, the next and foremost thing is the off-road driver's mantra is drive as slow as possible and as fast as necessary. Over speeding is not at all advisable in the sand track. Over speeding or going, people are, we used to see or we used to come across, I am going, I have gone 180 and all. All of a sudden it will give you a skidding in the vehicle and your life will be at risk. My dear gentlemen, and the main thing I would like to suggest is there are some slides. You have to keep a safe distance from vehicle. That is, you have to maintain the safe and <coughs> agreeable distance 10 meters away. And always for two wheelers, you have to wear a helmet drive within the speed limits that is one more thing be patient while driving don't lose your stress and do not honk unnecessarily and then i would like to say in this some points you have to avoid bypassing the signals when red signal is on that is what i was talking with you in the previous slide also why because let us all take it as a pledge and educate or ask others to follow. It may take some two or three minutes to reach our destination. No problem. But drive safely. Frankly to say that it is, if it is bypassed, your destiny will be written on the spot. Let us think which is the right thing for survival, my dear friends. Again, again and again I will come to the cell phones, even if it is emergency. You can park the vehicle in the sideways and safer area. You can finish your talking and then proceed. Lane cuttings. One more thing. Lane cuttings, whether it is two or four wheeler, is not safe and advisable. Lane cutting is not advisable. As far as possible, let us keep our lane straight. If at all, if you want to go straight or left, decide your lane before you take a turn. That will help other passengers or other motorists or other drivers also to be precaution from their side so that they will not come and hit you. You have to give way to others and please and please do not use shortcuts like sudden direction changing without signaling. That is a very bad thing. Even if there is any problem found in the signaling system, get it rectified as soon as possible, my dear friends. And the main thing I would like to focus is, I will try to present some slide regarding, uh, I will minimize this and I will give you the slide now, which is a uh, accident, uh, this thing. My colleague Pramod is now joining me on the story. Pramod, an extremely disturbing news now coming from the state. A boy who had a very promising future now no more because of this accident that took place on. Yeah. So you say the thing. accident Track. video? Well, it's an unfortunate yeah, yeah, accident yeah, yeah. that yeah, occurred on Saturday, and this is a uh, very, very uh, well-known circuit for the transporting circuit that is Chen Thing. And uh, this is for like uh, minor students, and uh, uh, this particular person, Shreyas, uh, who's also known as a very good uh, racer, was only 13 year old. Uh, in fact, he celebrated his 13th birthday on 26th. And just like you mentioned, what happened is that on this uh, one of the laps, as he was uh, uh, going through these laps, what happened is that he hid, and at that point. Uh, we're not exactly sure how, but his helmet came off. And this is when one of the drivers was trailing him. He couldn't uh, stop the vehicle on spot, on time and uh, unfortunately ran over Shreyas. Shreyas was taken to the hospital, but unfortunately was declared broad dead. And uh, this led to the cancellation of all races for this weekend over there. And many who know Shreyas as one of the uh, very well-known riders from India, uh, he is also known as a promising rider. He has participated in uh, many uh, international sports as well, uh, races as well. and. Uh, he is known for his uh, uh, control over the machine, but this unfortunate accident is something that has broken the hearts of many uh, people who love motorbike racing.
right from both my colleague giving us the details of this horrific incident in which a 13 year old promising bike rider lost his life okay i will come again to the slide again now you got it my friend yes sir yeah so what i would like to say is we are seeing so many videos like this and uh, we are forgetting the safety points so the main thing i would like to stress is the valuable suggestions and safe methodologies adopted for safe driving actually is a welcome move by all of us from today let us take it as a pledge and circulate the same thing to others and uh, one more thing i would like to suggest is yeah this is the one i was telling they are uh, given designed in bangladesh they have designed one uh, implementation of an automatic speed control system of vehicles for avoiding road accidents in bangladesh they are having the sensor if you go details of this they will give you they are told road accidents has been a major problem in bangladesh in recent years an automatic speed control system is proposed in this paper if you go to that site it will be useful for you my dear gentlemen we will again uh, go to the <clears throat> same slide where i have left yeah if any of the participants has any questions they can please ask now or in case if you don't have any questions this particular video will be uploaded on our youtube channel so that you can also ask in comment section i thank mr ratan kumar rajmani on behalf of tnv academy for giving his valuable time and accepting our invitation to be the guest speaker for today i thank also you, thank, thank all the participants for taking out time and from their busy schedule and joining us in the webinar today i hope to see you all again soon thank you thank you